What it do, what it do, what it do It's your boy Badger it Back at it again ha. And it's my ha, yeah, yeah This channel should be Badger and my ha Instead of my ha And Badger It's just, stop, it's messing up the mic You bum That wasn't very nice so you lot tell Christian that wasn't very nice and he was being mean to me. You know, there were comments before saying, I don't like when Christian tells Maha to shut up. Oh, all right. Well, I'll just stop it. Anyways, today we are back at it with another video, man. We got another um, watch data video comparison <laughs> and we are looking at the world's most dangerous symptoms and what they mean. So if you go through any of these symptoms they dangerous <laughs> and we gonna tell you what exactly what that means and you need to go fix it but look before shut up i knew i was waiting for that <laughs> i was waiting for that i was all right I go, knew ahead. It was coming. go ahead you was trying to get no, it out of the way i'm done you're done with the channel oh there's what's just gonna be badger i already have a channel <laughs> <laughs> All right, but before we get into it, give him the verse of the day, babe. What? I gotta give him the verse of the day? I was just playing. I was just playing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this thing. Help. Help me. I'm trying to. Let me. This is 2 Timothy 1, and it says, For God has given us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and sound judgment. Amen. <laughs> you gonna talk during the video? <laughs> what? Okay, unshut up. All right, let's get to the video, y'all. All right, the first dangerous symptom. Symptom. 90% had this symptom. Feeling dizzy when you stand up. The dizziness is caused by low blood pressure and is usually not serious. Yeah, that happens to me. I get up too fast, I'm like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about you, babe? I'm sorry! Can you talk? Talk to me! No! <laughs> you guys, he threatened me! He threatened me to talk again! That's the only reason why I'm talking! He's threatening me! He's threatening me! 76% had this symptom. Random nosebleed. 90% of nosebleeds are caused by nose picking. In rare cases, it can be a tumor. That's crazy. Whoa. I haven't, knock on wood, but I haven't had one of those in a while. Did you have them regularly before? I had a few, but it wasn't like just mm. on a, a normal basis. I feel like I've had a nosebleed before. Recent? No, 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 a while ago, like years ago. I don't remember uh, what caused it though. Well, you know, I was a nose picker, so <laughs> probably that was the reason. Oh, I did this before. <laughs> 60 cents, 66 percent had this symptom. Pooping your pants. You either ate dodge, what's that? Dodgy. Dodgy Mexican food, or you just suffer a massive spinal cord injury. <laughs> injury. Dang. Mine, I just farted. <laughs> that was what I, I pooped myself. I was at home though. 60% had this symptom, skin and eyes turning yellow. Yep, 60%. Jaundice affects the majority of us as babies, but it's rare as adults. Dang, Ooh. people out here looking like SpongeBob. That's just crazy. Yeah. 55, 54% had this symptom, your voice going high pitch, caused by vocal, what is that? Polyps. Vocal polyps for yelling or singing too loud. <laughs> Your voice getting going high pitch. My voice be going high pitch when I get talk about something funny. Mm. Maybe I, I I might have that. Cause I really talk like this. This is really how I talk. How about? Don't believe that. That's how I talk. He's right trying there. real hard to talk like that right now. No, I'm just talking. Thirty-seven percent had this symptom: white patch on your tongue, Le leukoplakia. 
yeah, leukoplakia, leukoplakia can be harmless, but it can also be an early sign of mouth cancer. Oh my gosh. Bruh, I ain't never seen a white patch on a tongue before. Same. So if y'all got that, go get it checked out now. Mm. I, yo, burning, okay, 36% have this symptom. Burning feeling when you pee. Most likely it's a UTI, but you need to get treatment. Some never go away. Oh! Look, there's a whole different discussion, but I ain't never had to deal with that. I know that. Like, I've heard of other guys being like, they mess with a girl and oh, their oh, oh. pee burn. I mm -hmm. ain't never dealt yeah. with that, so. I mean, sometimes it's based on the type of food you eat and all that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just hear about when people mess with other girls mm -hmm. and yeah, no, nah, I ain't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, that ain't me. <laughs> I ain't. I would hear it and be terrified. Thirty-three percent had this symptom: losing your sense of smell. It could just be cold, but it could also mean brain injury or COVID. <laughs> that that <laughs> that that's actually pretty valid. Yeah, that would suck too. I would yeah. hate to lose my smell. I had COVID once. I never lost my sense of smell. Thank you. I had COVID and I didn't lose a sense of smell or a sense of taste. Thank Jesus. Really? I thought you did lose your, your taste. Mm -hmm. No? I can oh. taste everything. 32% had this. Symptom. Partner complains that you snore. <laughs> you say it like that. I miss symptom. <laughs> had this. Symptom. <laughs> Snoring is the main sign of sleep apnea, meaning you're struggling to breathe. Yeah, my mama got that. Is that um, hereditary? I don't know. I used to snore, remember? Mm -hmm. And then I stopped. Nice. I will only snore now probably if I'm really, really, really sleepy. Yeah. But ye, I don't snore as much anymore. I don't my know why I used to snore so bad. I don't know. Who snored? My mom. You know what you do? You talk in your sleep. <laughs> Girl talking about some sir, yes sir. <laughs> Something the other night. I don't remember that, but I really do be talking to my sleep and laughing too. Yeah, she be like, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, what you dream about? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> remember that one time I just made that weird noise? I was like, ah! <laughs> remember oh. I was screaming in my dream? Uh, oh yeah, I think so. I think yeah, you're a weirdo. <laughs> oh, I be having this. Well, it's more like chills, but 30% had this symptom, shivering on a hot day. A major cause is anemia. And it, and anemia. Anemia. When you don't have enough iron in your diet. Oh. You think you're having enough iron in your diet? That might be it. What's your... Well, it hasn't been... My, my physical is in May. Yeah, make sure they check for that. Usually it's... Well, I'm just saying though, why am I... I take NyQuil and DayQuil and go away. I don't know. So, I don't know. But, yeah, I need to check that. I'm glad we watching this video. Because mm -hmm. it don't be hot days, but I be getting chills. I've yeah. gotten it twice so far this mm -hmm. year. So, I was like, what the heck? I've heard of this. 26.5% had this symptom, tasting metal in your mouth. Something shouldn't be in your mouth. It could either be a tumor or an infection. You know what else you taste metal? When you take the run test you're in preseason and you feel like you're gonna die and you taste all the metal in your mouth after you run. That's more like taste the blood. And metal. I feel like the blood. Yeah. I know what you're talking about though. Maybe cold. Mm-hmm. Hate it. Nineteen percent had the symptom, adult tooth suddenly falls out. It can be an early sign of osteoporosis, which can put you in a wheelchair. Dang. Mm. That's not good. Imagine if it's one of these. I like know. the ones you actually see. Time for veneers. Facts. 17% had this symptom, farting more than 30 times a day. 13 to 21 farts a day is normal. Any more indicates IBS or celiac disease. I don't think I go over 30 times. We gotta take her to hospital. <laughs> Cause it's not 30 times, it's 40. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's gonna be okay, babe. You fart so much, it's gonna be okay, babe. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we watched this video. We're gonna save you, okay? That needs to be at least, you need to start farting at least 10. It says 13 to 21. No. You need to be better than normal. I feel like you're gonna fart more on purpose just to catch up to 13. <laughs> I'm like, bro, stop! <laughs> I don't wanna smell it anymore. <laughs> 16.5% had this symptom, not pooping for three days. Could be a thyroid problem. 
colon scarring. Oh, you're scarring and you're not eating enough fiber. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I didn't know you had to poop every day. I feel like I went, I go a few days without pooping. Maybe you're not eating enough fiber. That might be it. That might be it. Growing up as a kid, I didn't remember pooping every single day. Oh, uh, nah. Your girl pooped every day. And I still do. Nah. Multiple I, times. No, I've heard that from someone else that they poop every day. Yeah. So it's pretty normal, but I'm not normal, apparently. Having regular bowel. I mean, it all depends on your body at the end of the day, but. True. Fiber is good for your digestive system anyway. We'll make some fiber then. 13% had this symptom. Feeling insects under your skin. <gasps> this has many causes. For example, you're suffering from alcohol withdrawal. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's. That was you and your skit today. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> we'll show y'all what we're talking about. She talking about. <laughs> uh, that was me. <laughs> That's exactly how they be yeah. acting. Ooh. Ooh, bruh. Any pain in your mouth? Yeah. That sucks. 11.5% have this symptom. Extreme jaw and tooth pain. It's probably a toothache, but can also be an early sign of a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Bruh. That's scary. That's wild. What? 11% had this symptom. Passing rocks when you pee. The largest kidney stone weighed more than five basal. I can't imagine. So, that going through your pee pee? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I, ooh, the nasty. That sounds pink. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it, bro. Anything coming out my pee pee besides pee? <laughs> that really does sound painful. That's wild. More than five basal. 9% had this symptom, pins and needles in your feet. This sensation is called neuropathy and can occur due to diabetes. Is that the feeling when you go to, your foot go to sleep? I think so. That happened every time I go in the toilet in there. I think it's the way you're sitting or how long you're in the toilet for. <laughs> Probably, but my feet and legs go to sleep. <laughs> I'm tired of that. 7.5% mm. have this symptom. Unexplained weight gain. Something is wrong with your metabolism, like a thyroglad disease. Dang, why? Maybe the person just not working out. Well, I guess that's unexplained. explained. <laughs> guess that's explained weight gain. Okay, yeah. I, I see. Oh, girl. Yeah. Seven percent had the symptom brown colored pee. The brown color is caused by myoglobin, which comes from deteriorating muscles. That's different. Mm. Six point nine percent have this symptom. Pain during lovemaking. If it's really painful, it could be a sign of endometriosis. Oh, <laughs> I've I've heard a lot of um, women on social media speak up about how they suffer from endometriosis. Dang, mm -hmm. I don't even know what that is. I gotta look into it. Yeah, and like um, a lot of pain when they're in their period, like beyond the regular cramps and all. Ah, uh, okay. Six percent had this. Constantly drooling, what the freak? Worst case scenario, you could have caught rabies, which has 100% fatalities. Oh my gosh. Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that, that's nasty. Uh, Ew! Uh, Stop! <laughs> the nasty old thing. They don't get that. <laughs> They don't get that. Constantly drooling. Matt, what if I had a friend that randomly drooled? At Were they times. asleep? Or no, they they'll be. Drooled? They'll just have their mouth open, and then they just drool. <laughs> we're like, ew, bro. <laughs> what you doing? Why you always drooling, bro? It was weird. But he's still good. He didn't have rabies. Three percent had this symptom: drenched in sweat on a cold day. What's this? Hyperdrosis? Yeah, hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis has many causes, but the scariest one is impeding heart failure. Ooh. That sounds scary. Two and a half percent had the symptom. Your hair is suddenly falling out. It can be a sign of alopecia, or maybe you're just not eating enough vitamins. You know, that reminds me, on my to-do list for March is to start taking omega-3s again and more supplements. Facts. I killed my little gummies. The Which omega-3 gummies. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. The four men. Yes. Oh, okay. It was for women, but. Oh yeah, yeah. I ate it anyway. They were, they were trying to do a marketing ploy. They, it was the same product. Facts. 
But yeah, I gotta get those two. 2% 2 have this symptom. Extreme mood swings. Bipolar disorder is the third common mental illness after depression and anxiety. Mm. I think my seventh grade teacher had... Bipolar? Yeah, she was be up one day and then up down the second. Ooh. Like, bro, what is wrong with her? Yeah. She'd be like... Why did no one get their homework in? Thank you. Thank you for that. Sit down! Oh my gosh. I just don't understand. Now! Okay, class. So, yeah, bro. That's to, crazy. I used to be like, here you go. <laughs> she was crazy. Oh, I can't imagine. 1.8% had the symptom changes in size or color of moles. Get it checked by your doctor immediately. It could be melanoma, which is skin cancer. She had a mole on her, but she took it off. Yeah. They said um, there was nothing to be worried about, but... And they cut it off. Yeah. So, we good over here. You know, cutting kind of that dang mole off cost me like $250. Dang! I, I could have cut it off myself! That's what I'm saying! What the heck? <laughs> There have been more blood involved for sure. We got this. <laughs> I'll just hold. Ah, my boo! I'm sorry. You wouldn't have given me anesthesia either. Uh, nope. <laughs> we would have just went straight for it. 0.7% had this symptom: bruising for no reason. Unexplained bruising can call can indicate a blood disease or mm. blood clotting problem. I did not know that. That's interesting. 0.3% yeah. had the symptom schizophrenia. Doesn't usually appear until your mid 20s. This is an early sign. You got a big head. Thank you. What you said thank you for? You told me I had a big head. Girl, you hearing stuff in your head. Run the playback, Ham. Run it back. <laughs> you ain't got to run nothing back. Run it back. She, right, she hearing stuff in her head. Ew, whoa, that's a weird random thing to have. 0.2% had this symptom, tasting soup or soap. I'm I think confused. I meant soap. Yeah, tasting soap in your mouth. It's not normal to taste. Uh, it's not normal. It's not a normal. It's 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 not a normal <laughs> taste to experience at random. You might have swallowed poison. Oh Yo, gosh. that's wild. That's very wild and scary. 0.1% had this symptom, sharp pain on the right side of your stomach. It's the first sign of a burst appendix. Get to a doctor quickly because it can kill. Who do I know had a burst appendix? Their appendix burst? Yes. Someone I know had their, they were hurting. Dang, I don't know who it is, but they are like, their stomach was hurting bad. Was and they thought they had to poop. Well, I think it was A. Really? His appendix burst? I could be wrong. I remember or I had it, it gas was... and I thought I had appendicitis. <laughs> but it was just It gas wasn't levels. you, babe. Okay. I know it wasn't you. I could Crossing be wrong. It's someone I know that happened to, but they, they were good. 0.05% had the symptom of falling asleep constantly in the day. Only 25% of people with narcolepsy know that they have it, such are being treated. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah, that is. Just imagine doing something. That... <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Zero point two percent had this symptom. Hiccups for more than. Oh no! It's okay, guys. Let's give him the swirly, twirly. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't you dare do that, Chuck. <laughs> Don't you dare. I forgot the name of it. Oh oh. Oh, wet a wi whirly? Um, uh, a wet willy? A wet willy, yeah. <laughs> Talk about some swirly pearly. I don't think you about to give me a wet sheet. <laughs> or like, put me in the toilet or something. <laughs> it goes for more than two days. This is not normal. You can have a nerve damage or a metabolism problem. Wow. Oh, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Damn! 0.012%. <laughs> percent at this symptom your balls swell up to tennis ball size oh my gosh it's a sign of torsion 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 sorry when the spermatic cord blocks off blood supply so it's a bunch of sperm cells oh my god they're like get out of here we're gonna get it get it 
<laughs> That's crazy. Terrible. What? I've never heard of that. Oh, this is so me right here, y'all. Major eye roll. 0.0001% have this symptom. Eyes change in colors. Your eyes slowly change color as you age, but it's a rare eye condition does it overnight. Yeah. Whoa. As y'all know, I have black eyes, but you know, during the spring or summer, it turns like hazel. That's why she loves me. I actually got her when they were hazel, and then she was just so upset when they turned dark brown again. But mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I got, I got proof, y'all. You know, during the spring, summertime, that's how my eyes look. That's my eye color. And then it changes, you know? So this was me back in 2011. Some of y'all was just being born. <laughs> That's crazy. I know. And you see, yeah, I just, I had it right here. Like, you can tell my eyes just changed colors. So they actually change the colors right now. Y'all seen that? Y'all see it? Yeah. It happens every you day. You guys ever heard of eye contacts? On to the next one. 0.0000005% mm. have this symptom. Suddenly getting a new accent. Foreign ancient syndrome is caused by blunt head trauma. Only 100 cases ever. I don't know what that was. What are you talking about? What What is that accent? It ain't new. This is just how I talk. Try the Remedian accent now. What do you mean, my? What, man? What, man? No! No! Hey, Juicy. Moho. I love you. You knew that, right? We don't sound like that. Something like that. No. <laughs> no, we're gonna go to Dark River after this. Yeah, we're gonna go down the dark side. Dockyard? Dockyard. Or Docksiders? Where you stand? The lawn? Oh, yeah, lawn's really nice. It's real nice. Lauren's nice. That's how they be sounding. It's ugly, ain't it? 0.0000002% had this symptom. Getting burned by cold water. Aquagenic urticaria is more commonly known as an allergy to water. Just 37 cases. Wow. So they get... That's crazy. I've never heard of that. Same. That's different right there. Do you have any weird symptoms? Weird symptoms. She has the biggest head in America. That's a, her head is just humongous. People tell me that all the time. You're not the first person to tell me I've got a big head. I just don't see it. Like, put your head next to mine. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> your head is big. Turn it. Uh, Put in the comments who got the biggest head. Look straight. Put in the comment who has a big forehead. Go. <laughs> I just kidding. That's my weird symptom. <laughs> my big forehead. No, it's not weird at all. Look at that. <laughs> See, it's a forehead. You want two, three, four, five. No. Five subscribe hit that post notification and we'll see you next time and ag 2g all glory to god peace out that was that that was that caitlin clark angel reese Paige beckers or it's the euro Fly J. or the euro juju reference right there peace out y'all that's what i'm talking about wnba baby putting women's sports on the map Oh, and she ain't never watched the WNBA in her life. Oh she ain't she ain't never watched the WNBA game in her life. <laughs> Talking about this crap. I'm not American. <laughs> That's why. Matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. She not a real fan. Look. Anyways, look. we out. Bye. I support all women's sports. All right, there don't you go. Don't tell me to shut up. <laughs>